sent by His Excellency President William Ruto, is uh, very keen on supporting private investors in this country. He is very keen in ensuring that uh, whatever is, uh, can be done to attract public investment, and especially in, uh, in investments that support uh, healthy uh, business, that support agro-processing, that support the manufacture are its key priorities in the Kenya once at plan. So the investment that the uh, Empire has made wants increasing value for our tea is really appreciated. And uh, to demonstrate how committed the president is, I think as we sit here, <coughs> the summit is attending in person. He's sharing a meeting of CSS, a meeting of uh, governors, and the entire top leadership of this country. A meeting which I'm supposed to be attending. But when I mentioned to him that there is this great event, he gave me leave and told me the issues of the farmers in this country, the issues of uh, and specifically team, because this is still little, I think that must still probably So proceed and uh, carry out that important function. And this is in realization and is really, uh, uh, is doing it really to really confirm or to demonstrate that it means what it says. So you are, Participation in supporting government to hand value to our team, which has directed me to ensure that in the next five years we've been able to increase the value, the exports of our value handed team from the current two percent to fifty percent is what I'm actually uh, working on. So you are great partners. Uh, in this uh, venture, I want to appreciate that, and you can take it from me that uh, whatever is required to be done legally, whatever support that uh, government can be able to do, we are ready and willing to partner with you people. Okay. I want some of the uh, challenges that you may have in uh, accessing uh, cheap uh, uh, packaging materials because that is a problem we are having. It's a discussion probably we may require to start and see what really causes that high cost. You know, right now we are also working on uh, how to, to, to subsidize, how to support the farmers in increasing productivity. And some of the issues we are trying to do with is bringing the cost of production, farm inputs. So in this air sector of manufacturing of value addition, what I hear uh, being one of the greatest challenge is uh, packaging material, which is being imported from Sri Lanka. Yes. And uh, probably if our tax regime is probably that is not in favor, of our imports of packaging material, or if it requires us to invite more investors out of the, the private public partnership arrangement mm -hmm. to invest in quality packaging material, <coughs> then it's an area we would not mind trying to explore. So, the commitment I am making here is of course, out of consultations and me understanding. Uh, the, the sector properly and of course upon advice by the sector players will be uh, willing to engage so that the cost of packaging can easily go down. I am happy to note 
that uh, the country produces 200 million kilos of uh, green, polluting green leaf. There is no other country, no country in the world that is able to match Kenya. And going by the statistics as provided, then uh, it uh, brings about the question of what is it that we need to do to ensure that the green leaf that we produce in very big quantities. Because the one that is the one that is processed to give us the, seed, the bulk teas that we export and the value or the, 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 the price we get from the export of bulk uh, teas is lower compared to what we get after value addition. The, the wound has greater demand for orthodox tea. Uh, where and if my advice is correct, is that uh, the difference between the city cities, the, other, the bulk teas and the orthodox tea, is the mound of processing. We don't have to plant any other tea. We only use the same tea, but the process the same leaf, but but use a different method of processing of the tea. And because there is great investment in 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 tea, then uh, and looking at the return on northern of tea, then it, be, it uh, means that we must have a blend of, you call them the, the bulk teas or that we export, and the other dogs, because other dogs tea is, uh, is fetching double the money that uh, the normal tea is, uh, is, uh, is fetching. And if we are really mindful, because we are, of the plight of farmers, and uh, our greatest focus is to have the farmer get the best, then we cannot run away from that reality. And uh, we are looking at establishing around 12 lines, 12 uh, factories in this country uh, being supported to create uh, an orthodox processing line so that we are able to increase our value, uh, our quantities of orthodox tea. So the, government, the president is aware about this. I am aware that uh, there is great demand of the orthodox tea, and we, have, we are in consultation with the KT and managed factories. Actually, we are at the level where we have identified around the sort of factories where we need to ensure there is government support in putting up uh, a northern dogs line in all the factories, in those uh, factories. The whole cost is not cheap. It will cost us quite some money because I think one line is almost six, seven hundred million. Yeah, that should be the uh, uh, but uh, uh, we we are working on how we can be able to be able to really to allocate resources to be able to support because we really must grow our farmers. Our economy is clearly sixty percent agriculture, and uh, when you look at the people that the tea sector supports, around six hundred five thousand farmers in this country, small scale older farmers, then team business becomes a government priority, becomes a government business. So I am committed to ensuring that we give our best uh, to support the city farmers. And that is even why in the last season you all know that the president himself directed that we subsidize fertilizer for the tea farmers. So Mr. Empire, uh, what you need to start thinking about, because whatever uh, concessions, concessions that we make as government, because some of them involve 
no sobreviviendo en parte del continente. Conviviendo en esa línea. To see how such concessions have been made, whether it's by way of induction of uh, whatever duties or levies, to bring down the cost of packaging material, to government investment to produce more other logs, for them to fetch money. I would want us to start thinking of how can uh, those concessions, though that investment by government can be translated to an increased price per kilo to the farm. We do not want to create you as giants at the expense of the farmers. Because when we bring down duty on the packaging material, and you are saving and you are selling your tea from the tea, the value addition that you make from the 2.5 shillings from the auction. And when you sell to Australia, probably you make 11 shillings per kilo. Then we must be willing to share uh, that, uh, with the farmer. The farmer must, if that is where we are going, must the, 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 the price of kilo or the price or the, 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 the uh, whatever goes to the farmer must must increase so that the farm appreciates what we are doing. So these are things we really need to think about. And even when we look at the regulations or legislations, our greatest focus will be now, yes, we want to do in the day, but to what extent are they able to improve the lives of our small scale farmers? To what extent are we empowering the people at the bottom of the pyramid? To what extent does this do the waiver or does this consensual right, translate to a stronger <coughs> local asula in the village and not to increase returns yeah, or, or increase the profits to somebody who is packing tea in Mombasa? So we, we, I want you to think that way because uh, I am also discussing to a greater extent, trying to see how within our special economic zones, especially here in Mombasa, how to probably, if we do not, uh, if we do not work on these things, then how to do a common user facility so that everybody else can be able to pack tea, to hand value to our tea for export, if that is what we give my farmers the best prices for them. But if we have a willing uh, willing investors that are also willing to share the prices, the the, uh, the benefit of the good price that they send or they fetch for that year after export, and then our farmers can be able to get something, yeah, then we are willing to continue for what taxes. So that's why I'm asking you, you really look at it, I think about it, because value addition is the way to go. We are, we, we, we are more persuaded than anybody else, and that's why we are saying we want to support you. That's why the President sent me here to come and witness this uh, great milestone. I must also want to really thank you for to working day and night to open up this new frontier in Australia. And I want to, to also want to encourage you to look for other markets as we also struggle to look for other markets as country uh, as a government. So when we work closely and open more markets, then we'll be able to uh, to have some bit of comfort because even right now I am quite very uneasy and uncomfortable because when I look at the future of our tea sector right now and especially when there is that problem in Pakistan right now, you know, that's why we take more for our tea and the injection and the world there is now depletion of the reserves in terms of dollars. 
Our tea, they are not allocating money to buy our tea. You know that really can be able to understand this. But when you open more frontiers, when you open more markets, then you are able to check the market. You are able to understand. So I want to invite you to proceed with this good work. Look at the markets for our team. We commit to give you people support as the government because you and the uh, where you are, because you create wealth for the people, and that is why we have no other business other than give you support. Of course, you can remain assured that uh, that we work closely, we work together, and I also want to thank the chairman of Kenya Team Board and the CEO, Acting CEO, Madam uh, Ferris, for really making me. Uh, aware of pulling, pushing me so hard uh, to come to Mombasa. I was here last week. On, I left Mombasa again on Sunday, and I'm back here again. And there is so much that uh, is really on my desk. For, for spending time to come and be with you here and missing the meeting in Mombasa, it's, it's a commitment from the end of state. That it means well for the farmers of this country, for the tea sector, for our private in in investors, and for this company empire. And I think uh, I want to lose their chairman uh, so that the uh, answer uh, 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 Yes, we, we, the farmer, uh, we, we, we must ensure that the farmer benefits with whatever the business we are doing. Uh, that goes without saying, because if not for the farmer, we won't be here. That's the bottom line. But having said that, uh, Honorable CS, is that we as exporters uh, are also facing a lot of challenges because when we purchase these from the Mombasa auctions, we, we pay the uh, farmer within 14 days, but when, but when we pack the process and export the tea, we, have, we spend a lot of money on marketing, promotional uh, materials, promoting uh, the brand, and also when these value-added goods reaches the destination and when it goes into supermarkets, we do not get paid, at least uh, for about six months we do not get paid. So here we are, we have financed, and now the interest rates are quite high, it's about 12 percent. And as I said, you know, the, the, even one machine costs about 600,000 euros, and that's the investment we have put. So farmer gets paid, but when we export, we have to wait for six months. So, so we, 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 from one side, we promptly pay for the teas so that the far farmer is taken care of. But we, as exporters, we do have our own expenses. So the the, the 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 selling price you see on the shelves doesn't actually come 100% to us. Only uh, I would say 10% would come to us. The balance is all expenses incurred in terms of uh, investment, interest, and promotional items. So that's just one thing I just wanted to clarify. If we got the entire hundred percent, of course we will be willing to leave the farm. Let's hope that things will be better. We are no people. We are no things will get better. That's why I'm saying we are really willing to engage so that we can see how to do this. Thank you. Um, uh, you see, at times we are required to. Uh, intervene even at the diplomatic levels. And uh, six months, I understand from a business perspective, is not a very short time. So, uh, some, some, those are some of the challenges. Uh, we need more to start thinking on how to have that money being paid. And of course, I expect you, when, when in business, to also start thinking of how to ensure your, your team is secure. When I talk about the security of our team as an investor, 
then uh, you can discuss this is advisory you can discuss on how to want your LCs because there's no expo that you do without an LLC. So when you look at how you want your ISCs, and for you to run away from the overlands of uh, borrowing so much and cutting the bandit of 12% from the banks, then it's one thing on how you can, uh, the LLC is properly wanted, then whenever you get the LLC, uh, Fatma, Sorry. call you Mike. Okay, oh. yeah. yeah? I was told, I don't know whether it's the truth. Oh, you didn't tell us how to mix the best thing. Yeah. 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 Y